I kind of become lightheaded at the sight of blood. And as you know, when it comes to periods, there will be blood. Off to a great start, this one's called an itchy situation. Sounds like a yeast infection. I was maybe 13 years old, and I decided to go for a run in the fields behind my childhood home. Wearing white shorts, I might add. Why? Mid-run, I realized that something didn't seem right. Sure enough, my period had started. I knew there was a porta potty in the field as soccer teams would use the field to play games. I entered the porta potty with the intentions of cleaning myself and my white shorts. But there was no toilet paper. Of course! <laughs> I proceeded to grab a leaf from a plant nearby to attempt to fix the situation before running home in bloody white shorts. <laughs> Boy, did I pick the wrong leaf. Oh my gosh, I knew this was, as soon as she said leaf. Poison ivy on my JJ. This situation made for one hell of an interesting doctor's appointment. Damn, I've heard of these horror stories where people are like, they're just trying to take a in the woods and then they grab the wrong leaf and then it's the same situation. They gotta get like steroid injections on their butt. Listen, don't grab any leaves. If if you don't have toilet paper, you have to take the L. I'm sorry. Ooh, slip and slide. Two words you never want to hear on your period. Slip or slide. I got my period fairly young. <gasps> fairly young? They got it at 10 years old, which is awful. And at the time was very uncomfortable with using tampons. That makes sense. I feel you. I didn't use tampons until I was an adult, so I get it. This worked out for me pretty well until I went on a camp field trip to a water park at age 12 and became aware of the problem my lack of a tampon use posed. My delusional youthful solution was to wear a pad with my swimsuit with shorts to hide it. It was all fun and games until I went on a particularly intense water slide. When I got to the bottom, I realized something was missing. I turned around and like something out of a horror movie, saw my pad coming down the slide after me. Needless to say, I became aware of two things that day. One, swimming in pads don't mix, and two, water parks are gross. That's the one thing that sucks about periods, is just like, since people don't really like spread the information, you have to learn from your own mistakes, and unfortunately, this is a huge <laughs> up. <laughs> Can it get worse? Can it get worse than that? What friends are for? I feel like this is gonna be a good one. I was dating my current boyfriend for only a month. We've now been together for five years. Wow. I mean, this can't be that bad. You guys have been together for five years. This this is gonna be a great story. You, you put in one good one in here, I bet. When we went to a friend's house for a night of drinking and fun, I also happened to be menstruating on this particular night. What an adult way to say it, because I never say that. I'm always like, yo, I'm bleeding a lot right now. At one point, my tipsy boy boyfriend and I started to get a bit flirtatious. And after he had fallen on the floor, he pulled me on top of him, hot. We stayed there for a few minutes, him laying on the floor and me sitting on his stomach. When we both stood up, I noticed a very red circular mark on his light gray shirt. Okay, so super bad, the original is here. My heart sank and he hadn't noticed the stain, so in a panic, I immediately grabbed my girlfriend and dragged her to the kitchen to tell her what happened. She then grabbed a glass, filled it with red wine, and in a drunken mishap, spilled the wine on his shirt right where the stain was. That's great. What a good friend. Hopefully that lasts. Who is this girl so we can give her the purple heart because this is amazing. Playing the game. I was a high school basketball player and had a particularly heavy flow one afternoon during a game. I remember jumping high in the air on defense, hitting the court hard. And the referee sending everyone to their benches moments later while they called in a person wearing a hazmat suit. Because my tampon had fallen out on the court in the middle of the game. Oh, holy bananas. I need to get transferred or I need to be homeschooled. This is not okay. No, you listen here, girl. Don't you be embarrassed. You were playing hard defense. You know what? I bet you scared the other team and you ended up winning. The lady in the tamp. <laughs> When I first got my dog, I had a regular trash can in the bathroom. That changed very quickly after one of our walks when I realized she was taking an unusually long time to poop because she was pooping out one of my used tampons. Oh my god, no, no, no. I can't, I can't read on. <laughs> the string was too thin for her to push out, so I had to pull my used tampon out of my dog's butt. Wow. Okay, I thought I knew where it was going, and it went... Phew! Nope. No thank you, I'm a cat person. The hot doctor. My aunt's friend once forgot she already had a tampon and inserted another one. 
I've done that. The doctor she booked to remove it happened to be a handsome man, making her feel even more embarrassed about the whole situation. He removed both tampons and said she was good to go, but the embarrassment didn't stop there. How, how did it not stop there? She had a blind date the following evening. When she arrived at the restaurant, she realized her date was the frickin' handsome gyno who had removed the two tampons she had gotten stuck in her vagina. <laughs> Oh my god, no! This is like a Hallmark original movie. Coming to Netflix this summer, we've got one girl, one hot doctor, and one too many tampons. What will they do? Honestly, that is cute, and I hope the date went really well. <laughs> and I hope you looked in your b**king again. I feel like as a woman, these are so normal. Everybody always has like a really weird period story, so don't feel like you're the only person who has had this kind of horrible experience, because we all have. So like, you just shouldn't feel that embarrassed about it. Like, just be confident and be like, yeah, this is a normal human function that I go through. It's just blood, y'all. Like, 